I stayed here, I got my BS and my master's degree. And I worked for, uh, for my master's degree for the professor of professors, the late Costas Isidoridis, uh, a great chemist indeed, and I owe him a lot. I finished my PhD in three years. Uh, most students, mm, it would take them five years, four at the earliest. I was one out of, uh, I think we were two out of 24 graduate students who graduated after three years of schooling in graduate school. Uh, because I was well prepared from here. And my professor, Costas Sederides, taught me almost everything. Yeah. So the Beirut reaction, not only being scientifically important, as it makes quinoxaline dioxide, it can make quinoxaline, it can make benzimidazole dioxide, it makes phenazine dioxide and phenazines and so on and so forth. Uh, it, uh, a huge way, a simple way of making these compounds. Uh, Pfizer came to see us. They said, we have been working on this for 10 years and you wiped us out because our method was much easier and almost at room temperature. And that's what industry wants. They want a simple way to make the drug to sell to people and uh, to uh, uh, all concerned. So the Beirut reaction has the, the, uh, is important scientifically and practically. When I moved from the United States to AV, I loved the place and I'm still around. Uh, I, I was made offers, but I preferred AB, yes, even in its worst days, yes. Well, maybe people think that uh, I could not be uh, more important than at, at AB. I am grateful, yes. Uh, AB has uh, bestowed upon me many honors that I uh, fall short of achieving, truly. Uh, I am thankful. I mix my lectures with uh, Arabic poetry. I love Arabic poetry and I recite it. And uh, some students remember only Arabic poetry from my classes. <laughs> they don't listen to my organic cancer. Happy 150th anniversary for AV.